Good morning, Yanni and Casey Matson with Vortex Advantage Ag here. Just wanted to give you a quick tour of our trailer and our rig we set up for aerial drone spray applications down here south of Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, we're gonna do this in one take, so come with me and we're just gonna start off with the power plant. So we've got this big V-twin 28,000 watt generator from Westinghouse. I know the, uh, the folks up at AgriSpray love the Westinghouse generators. So um, being that we're planning on running two T40s out of this trailer, at least if needed, we will. I opted to go with the 28,000 watt, which has 20,000 running watts. Should have plenty of power with 250 amp circuits to be able to power each T40. If you come over here, Casey, and look, what we're gonna do is basically take these two power cords this generator will reside in the back of my truck here. And these two power cords will plug into the generator and into these electrical boxes yet to be affixed. I just set them there for the purposes of the video. We'll twist lock into those just like you would if you were in an RV, generators running. And then we'll have a, an electrician install a panel inside that will actually hardwire or plug in the T40, T40 chargers too. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the trailer and. So one thing on the trailer, we do have a, it's a <clears throat> Alcom Stealth 24 foot enclosed car hauler. It's actually made originally to um, haul vehicles. So it's got heavy axles, I think 250, 500 pound axles, roughly 10,000 pounds, more than enough to carry the 800 gallons of fresh water we have. So you can see first, I'll talk about the two batch tanks. We went with two 85 gallon cone bottom batch tanks. Um, these are the Ace Rotomold brand. Uh, we did install chem blades in both um, for obviously puncturing, triple rinsing the F jugs. I did, these 85 gallon tanks are pretty tall. I'm six foot three, so you know, if somebody shorter is in here mixing or even myself, I brought in this little stool here. And Casey, if you come up here, you can see the inside of the tank. Go ahead and take a step up in there and show them the inside. We've got the chem blade with this spinner right here that rinses the jugs. And then down there further, you can see there is a nozzle, the white nozzle that provides agitation. So it creates kind of like a toilet bowl swirling effect down there and keeps this agitated at all times. You can see how sharp this bad boy is and the these little rails are on here too. So once those come off, it's brand new. We just got it going. So on one side, we have the fill valve clearly marked and on the other side, the agitation valve. So I can fill from these two 400 gallon tanks, totaling 800 gallons of fresh water just by opening this valve, opening the suction, and then hitting fill, obviously turning on the pump too. Um, one more thing before we go over to the drones, if we look at the plumbing we've got set up here, we've got an inline pre-filter. Um, we've got the CT6 high flow pump, 18 gallons per minute. We haven't been able to get 18 gallons a minute out of this. We're getting more like 12, but um, you know, I think there could be some improvements to this system on the fill side here, going to a one inch. We'll see down the line here. Just need to work it and see how it works. So we'll back out here and look at the, the drone garage here, what I call the drone garage. We've got one inch uh, hose uh, all the way over to the hose reel. And we've got the Durameter flow meter here mounted right there next to the hose reel. And then the two Ag T40s just fit really nicely. Had the guy up at Pesco Pumps. They're out of uh, Garland, Texas. P-E-S-C-O, Pesco. The owner, Ben, is awesome. Uh, he's This is his first drone build out or for the purposes of drone, but he does work with this type of stuff. So he welded up all these aluminum shelving units for me. You'll see in the front as well. He, mount, he mounted everything through not only the wood floor, but directly into the frame of the, the aluminum frame of the trailer. That's a nice thing about Alcon, they're all aluminum construction, so it makes it really lightweight, more than steel at least. So these folded up fit really nice in here. 
uh, they just slide out and, and pull right out of the back of the trailer. I've got them ratchet strapped in just to be sure they don't move in transit. They do weigh 85 pounds. So this thing is super sturdy. It's not mounted to the wall at all. It's bolted into the joist, the aluminum joist of the, the trailer itself. So now coming up here, you've got two 400 gallon tanks, as I said. We've got the banjo um, coupled, their caps are on here, but we'll be able to quick fill off of a fire hydrant. I've got the local water service. They're gonna meter up a hydrant for me and I can pull up and fill each of these tanks in about five minutes each. So it'll be a really fast fill um, with good quality water for the spray application business. Um, we did also create, it was Ben's idea up at PESCO to create these angled steel trays that hold these. He said he's seen rigs get just completely blown out, not having their water secured. So we've got these cables running up and over, holding these on both sides, front and back. These are called doorway tanks. Uh, they are baffled. There's a section in the middle that's actually um, a void here so that it minimizes sloshing in transit, especially when they're half full. So these are bolted again through the joists, the aluminum joist, but also spanned with a plate underneath to create more strength and integrity. Come on up here. And we've got on this side, we've got more storage up here. Um, I had them build this you know, it may seem like a waste of space. I probably could have done this on a much shorter trailer, like a 20 foot instead of a 24, but I wanted room to work. And um, and this is my first rig that I'm building out. So I wanted to, you know, have it bigger rather than too tight. So we've got this workbench here. Uh, in hindsight, I probably would have gone with a flat finish on this. It's gonna get all scratched up. It looks pretty now, but I don't care. It is what it is. It's made to make money and work. Down here, we've got storage for our, our trash pump for transferring water on larger jobs where we've got to drop a water tank on the site. Got extra oil, measuring buckets, drone part, two spare tires, uh, got a hydraulic jack. Um, on this side here, this was originally intended. I have this door cut in and, and put in here custom. It was intended to be able to um, view out over the field. I think this would be primarily for lower height crops um, or, you know, wheat, soybeans, whatever. I think corn, um, I'm going to end up having to get up on the roof. I am having a ladder system. Uh, Alcom makes it what they call their contractor system where you can put a big aluminum ladder on the V-nose portion of, on the outside, beefy ladder that goes up where a big dude like me can get up and I'm going to have a 10 by eight and a half foot wide deck up top for doing corn during fungicide season when I need to get over uh, taller crops or any at any time I need to get over and have better visibility, maybe more hilly terrain. So we've got our two remotes here. You could have theoretically two pilots here. You could have the pilots on the roof. We could be standing or sitting outside. It just, this gives us an option here. Got more storage down here for office supplies, stuff like that. And then you get up into the business end here where the battery storage is. Originally, we had planned on this kind of being a, a battery storage tray, if you will, or a shelf. It's super sturdy. It's all custom built aluminum, but obviously that's not gonna work with these cradles. So this actually will work, something like this will work very well. We may need to shift these over a little bit so you can walk in and not have to bend over so much to get the batteries in the back. But again, I'm gonna have a panel, a service panel put in here um, that these will directly wire into. The trailer is already wired with AC, so this little breaker box will go away and we'll combine that into the one that we're installing here. Uh, all that's getting done very soon here. Uh, that's pretty much it on the inside of the trailer. We do have air conditioning in here. Okay, see we've got a 13,500 watt uh, BTU air conditioner roof mount. Kind of one of the reasons we bought this trailer. Uh, whether or not we get to use that we'll, we'll, is yet to be seen. We'll see how how much power the chargers draw off the Big Daddy generator. If we have to run a supplemental generator on a really hot day to run that AC, you best believe we will. And that will at least keep us cool in this area and uh, keep the man door closed, leave this open, have the back down and, and we should be pretty good. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope that kind of gives you a good rundown of what we're doing here. Uh, we're excited to get going and uh, 
thank the, the folks at AgriSpray Drones for helping out and getting us trained up. Uh, Taylor up there and the whole crew, uh, everyone was great. And we look forward to building a long-term relationship with them in the future and buying a lot more drones. Thanks.